First up tonight, Leighton and Adrian. They're rolling out a solution for frazzled working parents. A little bit of nerves, but I'm just ready to wrestle a shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> G'day Sharks, my name's Leighton Allen. I'm 31 years old from Melbourne, Victoria. And I'm Adrian Rockman, 30 years old, also from Melbourne. And we are the co-founders of childcare and education company, Kids Co Australia. Sharks, today we are here to seek 375k investment for a 15% stake in the total business of Kids Co Australia. Sharks, we know that you represent five of the nine million working parents across Australia who have all of the same issue. What to do with the kids in the school holidays? Currently, research shows that there's, there's three main things that parents do, and you guys will be able to testify to this. Number one is pass them off to the grandparents, if we're lucky enough to, to still have them. Yeah, that's me. That's you, thanks yeah. Andrew. Number two is, and this is a growing trend that's really quite concerning, is bring them to work, throw them under the desk and slap an iPad in front of them, and that's really not a rich experience for, for that's child. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no judgment. <laughs> um, number three, which is to take unpaid leave. And we believe we are here with an innovative and ultimately convenient solution. We run school holiday programs in the workplace. We created our own curriculum to cover all fundamental areas of learning art and craft, sport and fitness, science and food, and dance, drama, mindfulness. Every day at Kids Co has an exciting theme, and that theme sets the stage for the day's activities, allowing us to teach kids through story and, unbeknownst to them, be educational as well. <laughs> so, we welcome your questions and uh, hope to have you on board to help us change the lives of as many Australian working families as possible. Thank you. Good on you. That's uh, fantastic, Leighton and Adrian. Um, so that's 375000 bucks for 15%. Correct. Correct. Now, we know each other, don't we? So, we do. Uh, in, in all fairness, you operate a uh, holiday program from yes. my co-working space in Brisbane, River City Labs, and my daughter enjoys a living daylight out Yeah, we love Livy too. Awesome value, and I love the service. So I'd like to clarify, typically the age range for these kids is what? Primary school age, 5 to 12. 5 to 12. And the people you're selling this to is usually the employer or are you selling it one-on-one -on -one to parents? Always the company. We go through the HR. Director. So it's a business-to-business -business sale? Yes. Are you two the salespeople? At the moment, we're everything. All right, OK. So how many sites are you currently running programs in? Nine companies at 12 sites across Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. And then we've got another 15 companies who are running pilot programs in the next two school holiday periods. So tell me about these companies. What's the minimum size to make them run profitably? So we have a minimum of 25 children per day at $80 a child. And every kid after the first 25 that drop in is seriously better profit. Exactly. Absolutely. So you valued your business at two and a half million, roughly. Yes. So tell us about the revenue numbers, because yeah. I'm sure they're going to just blow us away. <laughs> well, 2.5, it will. will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So our first program, which ran in July of 17, yeah. uh, we've generated $20,000 in revenue. The following holidays, we did 75,000. And the December, January holidays just passed, we did just over 100. So $200,000 in our first seven months. We're now on track to do 175 and 230 in the two upcoming periods. So it's 600,000 generated in the first 12 months of trading. Um, 600 grand revenue. So how did you come to a valuation of 2.5 million? It's based on our future projections. So for year two... So blue sky. No, I wouldn't no, say so. We're very confident. Though. Really? Give us the year two, this, will, this is far more interesting. Yeah, year two is $2 million in rev. How many sites? That requires 25 sites. And you've got those as contracts? No, so we have, we have three contracts in place for the next 24 months, so 450,000 till 2020 is locked in there. Um, there's, a, there's only two, two of you and you currently said you're doing everything, but you've yeah. got programs in every single state. Yes. Who's doing the selling in all states? Yeah, at, at this stage, it's planned to be us, and I agree. I, I hear your concerns before they come out of your mouth, that you're worried about the scalability of that. But for us, that's our real passion piece. 
that we, we plan to have the staff in place and with the right shark on board, the systems and procedures in place, that we can be the ones that can go out and actually sell in. So Leighton, we get the passion, we get the market, we get sure. the product, but how do you grow a business? And, and at that valuation, you see, you're not actually addressing the answers of, from an investor's point of view. We bought that there's a viable business there. We bought the need, and we bought the fact that employers need to do more of this. What we're really challenged by is your valuation of 2.5 million, and can you execute to give us a return on our investment? Our, our goal between us for 2021 is to be 1 million in revenue, and 50 companies will, will deliver that for us. I think it's time. Otherwise, the sharks will just devour you <laughs> and there'll just be blood in the water. <laughs>There's a lot to like about you guys. I think your, your energy is infectious and I think you've come across a concept and business idea that is well needed in the workplace. But it's the valuation I can't get my head around. And you're valuing it as if you've got the income. I'm out. Thanks, Thank Naomi. Thanks for the feedback. Janine. That's Janine. Well, she wears red. <laughs> that old trick. That That's what you call shoot yourself <laughs> in the foot. Well done on getting something going. I can see how you're going to make a living. Hate your valuation, and you need to rethink your business model so you can scale. You need to own the brand, the marketing, and basically provide the customers, the systems, and then someone else needs to execute to your standards. That's the only way you're really going to scale. I think if you do that, you'll get there. But I'm not the partner for you. I'm out. Thanks, Thanks very much for the considered feedback, Andrew. That's great. We'll take that on board. Uh, as an employer of choice in uh, the Big Red Group, I absolutely see your application, absolutely love and adore it. We've got 100 employees and I'm curious to know, would that work for our size business? But we seem to have a lot of kids. So we will be a customer, but for this investment, I'm out. Yeah, thank great. you. Thanks, Naomi. So three sharks are out, you've got two sharks left. I can't get that Brecky Bomb song out of my head that you put my daughter <laughs> pitching to me. It was terrible. Brecky Bombs are great. <laughs> she still sings it to me. Yeah, yeah it's great. <laughs> I, I'm worried about the scale too. So scale to me is, is how you actually replicate this. So I don't understand because it's a people business. And people businesses are, are mildly scary, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. And I'm confusing how happy a customer I am with how much I want to own a part of this business. Um, so but I'll, um, I'll dole myself out. Thanks for the feedback, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate your customership. One shark left. You know, I've spent a, a, almost a business career scaling up business in the, in the multi-site locations in a whole bunch of different industries. I know childcare reasonably well. You could really help us. I love what you're doing because it is it's so important to get employee engagement. I'm going to make an offer. Three hundred seventy-five thousand is what you want. I see the risk, and I want to be your partner because I've done a lot of the stuff that you've got to go through. So I think I, I, I de-risk it. So we need to be equal. Three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars to thirty-three point three 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 percent. You came in here looking for a valuation of 2.5 million. That values your business at 1.126 million. What are you going to do? Leighton and Adrian run a business that offers school holiday programs in the workplace. Glenn is keen to sign up, but his offer has slashed their ambitious valuation. So I'm going to make an offer. 375,000 is what you want. I see the risk, so we need to be equal. $375,000 for 33.3333%. You came in here looking for a valuation of 2.5 million. That values your business at 1.126 million. What are you going to do? Can we have a second to chat? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah go yeah. for it. Thanks, guys. Go out there. Whew. They just need a bit of help, honestly couple of hours with one of us and their business would be fine. I just, at the moment, not scalable and the valuation's crazy. Yep. He's a perfect partner for us. He's got all the systems and procedures in place. He's in this space already. Oh, 
probably gonna have to we naturally renegotiate. They're gonna go for twenty five percent. That's what I'm saying. And they'll lose the deal because it well, doesn't make might, any sense. But that's what they're gonna ask for. Thirty three back down to twenty five. Glenn will say thirty three. I'm not moving, and they will say yes. Or Glenn might say, well, I want some money back, and I'll go for twenty five. We'll see. Are you happy? Yeah. I'm happy. Right, let's, let's do it. Do it. Right on. Welcome. Thanks, guys. So you've had an offer from Glenn for 33 and a third percent for 375,000. What are you going to do? Glenn, firstly, thank you so much for your offer. We'd like to put in a counter offer of 25 percent for. You guessed it? Yeah. <laughs> of 25 percent, however, I don't know if you've guessed this part, with a 5 percent that will vest in 2021 if we have not hit that target and repaid the cash in full. Creative. Whoa. Nice. I like it. We back what we do. So basically 25% now and another 5% kicker if they don't meet their goals by 2021. So you get to 30%, not 33 and a third. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that deal. Throw me something else. All right, we're going to show you something else. Uh, in any one of your companies, we'll run two free programs <laughs> to the value of 20K. <laughs> OK, I'm going to make a counter 375 for 30%. Do it or don't do it. Time's money. We'll put in our final counter, Alpha Glenn. Call it a deal. Shake hands, have a hug, maybe have a beer. $300. Uh, 300. <laughs> $300,000 with a $75,000 line of credit. So you've now revised your offer. Yep. $300,000, you'll take $75,000 off line of credit for what percentage? For 25%. For 25%. And two free programs for Glenn's current corporate businesses. Correct. OK, what are you going to do, Glenn? <sighs> Jump on board, Glenn, come on. <laughs> Can I just go into the tunnel and have a think about this? <laughs> oh, do you need to phone a friend? Can I phone a friend? No, make up your mind. Okay, let's get, get on with it. Thank you. Oh, oh, man. Fantastic. Well, well, thanks, guys. guys. <laughs> Great presentation. Thank you, mate. Well done, well done, Thank indeed. Thanks, thanks, guys. guys. Thanks, All thanks, the best. Thank you. Cheers, thanks. partner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Good man. Oh, no. Well, they're well, happy. they bring that to the kids, don't they? They so didn't want that deal. Look at them. <laughs> Employers across Australia have to do more of this. It's a huge thing to attract and retain yeah, staff. I agree. We've got some great feedback from all of the sharks in there. Can't wait to put it into practice and yeah. really take this to the next level. Their, their program is spectacular. Yeah, I know. Hey, Apart that'd be from impressive, the fact right? that he couldn't tell the difference between a Janine and a Naomi. No, that was. Understandable. <laughs> After you get the makeup slapped on and shit, you can't tell the difference between you two. Blonde brunette.